go blue. Did Disney just learn a lesson about the phrase go woke and go broke? The House of Mouse putting out a financial statement, which seems to acknowledge that its controversial political and social agenda is costing the company and shareholders. The document says, we face risk relating to misalignment with public and, con and consumer tastes and preferences for entertainment, travel, and consumer products. But Disney isn't the only company that's facing a woke reckoning. Check out this headline from Axios. The DEI backlash is here. The article talks about how companies are slowing down the diversity, equity, and inclusion efforts since the Supreme Court's affirmative action ruling in June. Uh, Judge, the legal, uh, put aside the ruling for one second. You sense this from your conversations with people, and how do you think, in addition to that, the legal ruling may impact how companies behave going well, forward? First of all, I am so glad that, that Disney is, is suffering the way it's suffering. In March of 2021, they were selling at $201.91 a share. They're down to 95. Mm. That was a self-imposed injury, all right? They jumped on the, the woke bandwagon and they thought that they were going to make a fortune. They didn't do it for the right reasons. They thought that man, the country's going woke and this is something that we have to do. But, you know, when a little girl walks into a Disney store, they just forget who they are and sees the fairy godmother with a mustache. I mean, that's going to mess <laughs> her up for a few days. Um, but, but the whole the whole idea that Disney thought that, what, China and Russia, and that they were going to buy into this stuff, it's not going to happen. And the downward spiral is well-deserved by them. That's all I have to say. And I've said on the show, I don't know what woke is or toxic or what should be canceled. What, what Where have you been? Woke? That's all we talk about. I know, but what? how do you define woke? Like, I, I mean, what, what is woke? I don't know. I, I, don't know. I was just going to say and, this, and I, this, this is the market at work, right? Kidding. This is the market at work. And now Disney is saying, okay, whoops, it's sort of like Bud Light. They do the trans thing, like, oh, shoot, we got to pull back. Or you think how, about, said shoot? how about, oh, yeah, probably. <laughs> uh, or Major League Baseball, right? They pull yep. out of George, Atlanta for the game, and now they're going back. Yeah. And guess what? The law that made them leave in the first place that they were so upset about, it's still on the books. So I think a, a lot of this is just a resetting for everyone. I would also like to say that South Park, one of my favorite shows, nailed it again a few weeks ago. They had this fake Disney board meeting. And for every idea that came up, there was one guy who said, I know, put a chick in it and make it really lame. And it was just very funny and prescient. Uh, Jesse, I'm going to come to you, then I'm going to come to Greg. You feel, you feel validated here as you hear some of, the, some of the fact that this pullback is happening and that it's really the market that's doing it as opposed to politics. Well, I'm not a fan of Disney World. I've had bad experiences. Mm. I got food poisoning well, at, is it Epcot? Did? And Epcot. then yeah. uh, I had really bad seats at a parade when I was little. Oh. And so <laughs> Emma's actually taking both children, Jesse Jr. and Gigi, to Orlando mm. this January. I'm not going. Wow. Not because I don't want to go is because I need to be here. I need to be working. So you're yeah. going to send her there alone? She's yep. going on a flight with two children. I think she's crazy, but she wants to go, so I'm going to let her go. But what? other people other people care. They're principled consumers. Like when they saw that video that I aired at 8 o'clock of Tinkerbell at the urinal at <laughs> Disney World, people said, I'm never going back to that place again. Me, I'd go back. I see songs. Uh, and I'm, I don't care if that person hates Fox. I'll turn it up. Or I'll go to a restaurant that De Niro owns if the food's delicious. I don't care. Most Americans are more principled than I am. And, <laughs> and they will see things at Disney and they'll say, I'll never go into Disney World. Well, I go to Chick-fil-A. Yeah. Sunday. Greg, f finish us out here. How do, you, how, do, how do you reckon with this? I will uh, define woke for you. It's when, if you see everything through the lens of power, whether it's relationships, recreation, entertainment. If you see everything through the lens of oppressor versus oppressed, then you will never actually enjoy yourself. That is why people who are woke are no fun. That is why Disneyland stopped being fun, because it wasn't about its core principle, its mission statement, which is making people smile. The moment Miss Universe is about gender politics, it's no longer about its core mission, which is beauty. If you look at Victoria's Secret, if you looked at Bud Light. Anyway, you can't have two bosses, right? And uh, especially when one of the bosses has no metrics for success, and that is what DEI is. The, you have two tracks of success now, two competing tracks. One is for the shareholders and the customers. That's the one that matters. 
The other one is for consultants and race hustlers and the media. One will grow a company, the other one divides it. The funny thing is, the people that are involved in DEI, which are, are based on decentering whiteness in the workplace, and the, the symptom of whiteness would be profit-seeking and competitiveness. But in their own orbits, they use those exact same rules when climbing the ladder. When they're arguing and negotiating speaker fees, do you think they stop thinking about, how can I make a profit? They're a bunch of hypocrites, and they should all be fired. You can only have one boss, and it's me. <laughs> I've got three. They're at home at my house. Coming up, <laughs> we've got a big holiday secret to share with you. Find out what it is next. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.